In this technology training quick tip, we're going to explore the text to column feature in Microsoft Excel. Listed here in my spreadsheet, I have a column of birth dates. Now what the text to column feature does is it takes one column information and lets you split it between different columns. So if you wanted to, in this example, separate the month from the day and also from the year, you can use the text to column feature because you have these slashes in between each of those items. Now I have my information already highlighted here in column A, so I can go directly up to the data tab on the ribbon, look in the data tools group for my text to columns button. I'll single click on that and it will open the convert text to columns wizard. Notice this very first step allows you to choose between delimited and fixed width. We're going to stick with delimited for right now because it's the most common way to split one column into multiple columns. I'm going to hit next and you'll see that there's a number of delimiters written here. By default usually the tab box is checked. In this case we're going to check the other box type a slash here and you'll notice that in this bottom area the data preview has already separated our three values from one another. I'm going to go ahead and hit next again. I want to focus on this destination area here. Currently it says dollar sign $A, dollar sign 2. That's just Excel's way of telling us that it wants to paste these three columns we're generating in column A starting in row 2. What we'd like to do instead is to put our three columns of information next to column A so that the month will be in column B, the day will be in column C, and the year will be in column D. All we need to do to make that happen is to click here in our destination field. I'm going to backspace out that A and replace it with a B and that's going to tell Excel to start pasting our new information in cell B2. All that there's left for me to do is to hit finish and you'll see that it immediately splits that data up for me. I'll take a moment to describe what each of these columns are in the header row and then match the formatting to the birth date in column A. I hope you've enjoyed this information about using text to columns in Excel. For more information about technology training, please visit our website.